Hey, hey everybody, this is Larry. I'm doing this poem as part of a contest, so you're gonna watch me live as I go through my thoughts as I'm coding. Uh, there'll be an explanation near the end, and for more context, there'll be a link below on the actual screencast of the contest. Uh, how did you do? Let me know how you do. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and here we go. Yeah, mm. sup oh no, what? Yeah. Okay, Q1, final prices with a special discount in the shop. Um, so this one is a tricky one um, to read. I mean, because um, like I said, we'll say later, it feels like I'm doing an SAT question. Uh, there's a lot of reading. I don't know what's up. Uh, and mm. there's a lot of reading for the first And one. yeah, it, but other, you know, given that N is equal to 500, you could just do a really basic 500 square okay. problem uh, solution where you just go for each number, go to the next number or find the next number that is smaller than the price, which is the directions. And then that's pretty much it. Um, I am still reading this form because I wasn't sure what it's really asking, uh, to be honest. So, yeah. Okay. That is a lot of reading, but okay. But once I saw it, I was like, okay, let's just do this, right? And I wasn't sure if we want the biggest discount or the first discount, which apparently is the first but. But uh, when I saw it, I wasn't sure yet. My current chair is very creaky. Sorry. Yeah, I'm typing really slowly today because I wasn't sure. Also, I don't know why I did n plus one. The inclusive exclusive stuff has been kind of uh, in Python. It's a little bit just mixes uh, mixes me up a little bit. Max number. Uh... Yeah, this really is just two for loops, and uh, for me, I probably consider myself doing this a little bit slower than I would normally. Um, I I would say I did just get back from Hong Kong, so I'm a little bit sluggish. I'm back in New York, yay! Um, so maybe that's why. Hopefully, once I. Uh, shake that out of myself uh, I'll be able to perform a bit better but, but yeah it's just the first time that this happens I break um, I put a break first but basically we put in the answer um, and then uh, uh, otherwise and in uh, in Python there's an else statement for for a for loop where if everything executed in the for loop without the break then you then it puts it there uh, that's pretty much it uh, I, I ran the test cases. Uh, oh, I can't know. I don't know why I did n plus one. But after I fixed that, that's pretty much it for Q1. Submit. Q1, final prices with a special discount in the shop. So basically, this one I did brute force because n is only 500. Uh, the idea is that you just try to find the next item that is smaller than the current price and you could and there are, uh, is a linear way of doing it i think maybe maybe not with a mono queue or mono stack or something going backwards but but it's not necessary for this problem i didn't really think about it that much it was just a lot of reading and and yeah it's like taking the sats in here um but the short answer is for each index look to the right and then keep going until you see a price that's smaller than the current price and then subtract that from the current price that's pretty much what i did uh and like i said there was some reading convention and and the internet was a little bit slow in the beginning i don't know if you've seen and that allowed that forced it to be a little bit slower on the timing but otherwise pretty straightforward problem uh pretty cute problem my album is n square you could do it in linear time i believe or even n log n even if you're a little bit lazy um but